How to tell if a girl is gay but she's hiding it. Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I am answering a question from a viewer and basically they wanted to know how to tell if a girl is hiding the fact that she is gay. Um, so as someone who was once closeted, I can only go from my own experience. So one of the things that you might want to do if you really want to know um, is perhaps ask her friends um, or maybe even maybe her family members because usually people can tell if someone is going to be gay before they can. I know certainly some of my family members were aware of me being gay or had suspicions that I was gay um, before I, I even came out because they could just tell by my mannerisms. So for example, one of the things that my mum said to me after I came out um, was the fact that whenever I would go and meet girls, I would put more effort into my appearance than I would if I was going to hang out with my guy friends. So I obviously cared a lot more about my appearance. Um, I guess as well, some people, if you ask anyone who I went to school with, um, they'll tell you that they had suspicions as well, mainly because of how I behaved around the girls that I did like, but was afraid to admit that I liked. Um, I remember once actually when I was at a party, one of my old school friends came up to me and asked if I was bi, because they were friends with some girls that I had liked in the past. So as you can see, you know, people could kind of tell, so even though each time I was asked, are you gay, I denied it. Um, they were aware of it more than basically what I was, or at least they were uh, more aware of it than I was willing to admit to. Because I didn't know, I, I had suspicions, but I really didn't want to be gay. I think one of the reasons I didn't want to be gay was the fact that I thought I was quite rare. I didn't think there was actually that many other lesbians out there or bisexual girls. Um, so I actually didn't think for a long time that I would actually find anyone else who's a lesbian or gay. And when I did, and when I realised that was there was many lesbians out there and many bisexual girls out there, um, I felt a lot more uh, at ease with the situation because I knew that I wasn't rare, I didn't have to hide it because I would eventually find a girlfriend and I knew that. I wanted, but I needed to get to that point of knowing it before I could come out and, and all that kind of stuff. The best way to do it then is to obviously ask around, but one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that this person probably, even if they are gay, isn't ready to come out. Um, they're not ready to have a relationship with another girl. Um, they're not, they're just not ready. And uh, you can't um, obviously force someone to come out and you can't coax them out of the closet e either they have to come to this realization themselves and they have to, you know, when they're ready, they will come out. So obviously in, in your question, it kind of insinuated that you may be interested in this girl. Um, so obviously you want her to come out or you want her to at least come out to you so you two can start dating each other or have a relationship. But unfortunately, um, if she's not ready, she's not ready. So it's best to, if you are really liking a girl that's closeted and you're out and proud, um, it'd probably be better for you to actually find someone else who is out and proud and are, you know, are not hiding it from their family or friends um, because it's gonna be a lot more complicated. Now I have had a situation where I liked a girl who was once bi but wasn't ready to, um, I guess, submit to the other side of herself, the, the gay side of herself. Um, rather than, you know, the more straight side. So she, even though she liked me, she wasn't willing to be in a relationship with a girl. She only wanted to be in a relationship with a guy. So that might be her circumstance as well. She might very well be bisexual, but doesn't want to act on her lesbian side of that bisexuality. Um, so you obviously need to respect that. And if someone hasn't come out of the closet and they're not willing to yet because of society or the, the culture that they're in, then I'm afraid that's just, you've just got to let them be and let them come out at their own pace. There are obviously a few other ways you can tell if a girl is gay or at least bi. Um, you might be able to tell by the way that she dresses, um, the way that she interacts with uh, the girls. That, so perhaps if this is someone who you work with or someone that you you go to school with, um, see how she behaves around girls. Because like I said, one of the things that my mother picked up on was that I act differently around the girls. I put more effort into seeing my girlfriends rather than my guy friends. So um, see if she behaves differently um, in those kinds of situations. But you also need to keep in mind that you shouldn't take this 
um, as set in stone or as concrete because she might just be very flirtatious as a person, she might be willing to experiment but might not actually be gay or be bisexual. Um, so you need to keep that in mind as well because you don't want to kind of stab yourself in the foot by presuming that she's gay because of how flirtatious and the fact that she might be experimenting with girls because you could end up embarrassing yourself. Um, so I would, if you, if, so if I were you, I would let this situation go. I would let this girl go, and aim on finding a girl who is actually out proud and who is, you know, for sure, is a hundred percent gay or at least bisexual. And bisexual, as in, she is also willing to participate in that lesbian side of her bisexuality. So if you need help of finding um, a girlfriend then obviously one of the things that you might want to do is you might want to get some online dating apps if you are of course old enough to do so. Um, go to LGBT events. Um, if, if you don't have many other friends that are lesbian uh, or bisexual, you need to go to places where you know you'll be able to find these kinds of women. And when you do, you know, you just talk to them, approach them. It might be best not to go into it expecting to get a girl's number because that could put added pressure on you when you're having an interaction with someone, especially if you're very socially awkward and shy. Um, so if you are socially awkward and shy, um, it's best to go up to people with the expectation of actually making friends with them so you can get used to talking to people. Um, and then eventually, and then at some point, perhaps you may meet someone who is good a match for you, or perhaps you might just make some friends. Um, it takes that pressure off you. I would also recommend that you don't just go for the first girl that you find that does like you back because they might not actually be right for you. And this was a mistake that I made when I had, you know, when I got my first girlfriend. Um, I met someone whose kind of lifestyle wasn't aligned with mine and because I wasn't sure of what I was looking for and the kind of girl that I wanted. I just sort of stayed with the first girl that I saw. I just stayed with the first girl that I met um, and who became my girlfriend for over a year just because um, she was my first girlfriend and I thought she was really cute. I thought she was beautiful so I stayed with her. Um, but in reality she wasn't very good for me because of how different our lifestyle was and because she didn't really respect our relationship because she cheated on me. So you need to make sure that you are actually not just clinging on to the first girl that you find. So make sure that you have options um, and realize that you are deserving of options. Like myself, you know, I thought I wasn't gonna meet that many lesbians, but in reality, there are plenty of them. You need to have an abundance mindset. And when you have an abundance mindset, you have the ability to then pick and choose. So I assume, so if you want to have someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with, you need to make sure that you are not settling with just the first girl that you find that likes you back. Um, so you need to get very clear on what it is that you want in a relationship. Um, so this means that you write down all of, the, all of the qualities that you want in a girlfriend and all of the things that you do not want in a girlfriend. And once you do that, it's then easy to talk to people, talk to girls, because you can then make, you can then ask questions on these things that you do want and you don't want, so you can rule them out or rule them in. So if you have a conversation with a girl and one of the things on your list is that you want someone who's really good at communicating and you can tell that they are very passive aggressive and they're not very good about communicating how they're feeling, um, and they kind of take a different kind of route to it. So perhaps they may give you the silent treatment, but you really value communication in a relationship, then obviously that person isn't right for you. And then you know to rule them out and perhaps not go on another date with them or just keep them as friends with benefits or something like that. So that's why you need to get very clear on what it is that you want, because if you settle for the first girl that you find and she is not right for you, you could end up being in a very unhappy, miserable relationship. And because lesbians can be very, very clingy, um, it's very, it's, it's kind of likely that you won't actually ever leave that relationship and you will just be in a very miserable relationship for the rest of your life. So it's, this is why it's so important that you are very picky and choosy with the kind of girl that you want. Now they don't have to be everything on your list, they don't have to be everything um, 
that you want because obviously as long as the most important things are there that's all that matters so if they have a few things that you don't like about them so it might be just something like their hobbies like perhaps they you know play too many video games or something now that's obviously something that you can negotiate on kind of kind of thing obviously if it's an addiction that's completely different but if they have some tendencies that you don't like but they're easily livable with that's fine. But if they have too many things that are deal breakers, so for example, for me, mine was being cheated on, that's a deal breaker, then obviously you can't be with that kind of person who allows those things to happen. So as long as the deal breakers are fine and um, their values are the same as yours and you want the same things and they don't clash with any of your deal breakers, then you're going to have a good relationship. So that's why you need to be picky and choosy. Do not settle for the first girl that you find. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. I hope it's helped you understand um, how to tell if a girl is hiding the fact that they're gay and also how to find a good girlfriend for yourself. Um, if you'd like help with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com shop. Alternatively, you can use the email address provided in this video description box. Send me a quick email and we can work out something that way. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye, guys.